previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hal. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know Rachel is a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. <laughs> and that woman was definitely not my mom. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... We're just... sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. was violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was broken. Do you recall what that was? Greetings, YouTubers. It's Zelda Mariners, and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. We're jumping straight in here. Happy Friday, everybody. Uh... Is that rhetorical, Principal Wells? Are you asking, or is that rhetorical? Disrespectfulness. Oops. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. Oops. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the academy. This is what she gets kicked all out. This, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. <laughs> Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan whoa, Prescott. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I was helping was. Nathan Prescott. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. <laughs> Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Yeah. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. <laughs> it will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? Yeah, you insensitive prick. I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss <laughs> your daughter and her actions. Convenient. Reassure mom? Yeah, I'm on mom's side. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? I'm beginning to suspect that myself. Well, yeah, Mom's on I my side. I'm sorry you feel that way, but your daughter's misbehavior is real and serious. Uh-huh. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? <laughs> no, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. 
Like she hasn't done that before. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I need to do it. What? 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 <laughs> Yesterday was... Everybody, me. what? My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, wow, Rachel. Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. <laughs> I'm just sorry you got caught up <laughs> You allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Of course. Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price. What? Bullshit. Fine, yes. It was her idea. But it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber. Based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Come on, it's Are her first sure offense, Wells. The truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. <laughs> I'm da, da, dad. Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Coerce her? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel... Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? Yeah, it's called Chloe Price. Go to her on or enjoy the show. Uh, I'll just enjoy the you show. You have no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Let's all just calm down. After everything we... She's been through. In the last two years, yeah, you should on, be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. Mrs. Price. Ooh. Mrs. Price. I appreciate your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under... I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Oh, please. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. What? And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance. What? She's like your oh. best actress, dude. Uh. The performance is tonight. What the performance is tonight? For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Special events. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Wow. Please don't tell me how to run my school. Wow. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. <sighs> yes, I'm sure Victoria <clears throat> Chase will. Do that. <clears throat> that is what such. was that, Miss Price? Bullshit! The Chloe word is, is bullshit. Bull. Friend, but we are both Shit. grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to Proper go around. There, Chloe's Thanks. future at Blackwell will be discussed next. Unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Yeah, you can suck it. I did this proper. I got two words for you. Um...
You know what? Let's get in the shouting match. I feel like it. I feel like it. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. To succeed and back talk, listen to your opponents and choose the related comeback. Oh boy. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe, <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was a little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Accept reality. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? You should confess. I confess she can act. I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Hook, line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. You don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf. And you're a little Red Riding Hood. Welcome to Grandmother's house, bitch. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. No, Mom. Shouldn't have dragged Rachel into it. Fine. I shouldn't have pulled Rachel out of class. If I'd known she couldn't handle it, I would have gone it alone. Why speak up, Miss Price? Your words do not exonerate Rachel, but they do further implicate you. Ah! Uh, I don't Why? know. Why? To tell the truth, for once. Something that happens so rarely around here. Everybody lies. I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Can she be in the play? <sighs> you will not Thank be you. removed Ca from the That play. was the whole reason I did this. As long as I succeeded, so I'm okay. Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year. Now you're going to expel me. With a chance for reinstatement in the fall. And now? You are expelled. Boom! What? No. I will have Skip Matthews Sorry, escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Well, that's the route I chose to take. Ray. Come on, Chloe. I mean, we know that she left Blackwell regardless. I don't know. That's, uh... I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. Oh, our spot! The junkyard! Da, 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 da. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price? I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Oh, here comes Mr. Security Guy. Uh huh, is that a problem? I didn't see bullying before. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. <sighs> I'll see you uh, hey, in Chloe. the parking lot. I'm supposed to walk you out. Thanks. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. You know I was supposed to have today off, right? Sorry, Sorry Skip. Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. Time to clean out the old locker. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Emergency joint? Hello? Hello? I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. Got the pirate, the anarchy, the the whale smoking a blunt, and the middle finger. All right, let's look at this photo. Dad got Bongo from the rescue. Bongo. Ship. 
then he got run over by a car. That's sad. Moral of the story, no one's ever really rescued. I don't know about that. Are you rescued? Sleep. That's what he's doing. All right. Anyway, uh, let's take that photo. Take the photo. Got to remember your pets. What else we got? Got homework. I don't need that. Love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. F. Oh man, nothing here. Look at these equations. Look at these equations. Chloe, I need to start seeing more effort from you or you're going to fail my class. The quality of your work lately simply doesn't speak to the amount of potential I see in you. I know you're better than this. Well, man. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. Well, are we not going to take the pencil case? You sir. Wonder who will grace this space after me. Did we even put our name? Yeah, let's sign. Hello? Chloe Price. Almost. Can we see that now? Expelled. It's starting to feel real. Yeah. Maybe chem was the class I hated the least. Oh yeah, she liked chemistry. Having Justin as my locker neighbor was one of the few not shitty things about this place. Man. Don't need the homework. Look at him looking the other way like, oh, no, 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 I'm not going to see any of that. Oh, I didn't look at the geometry book. Oh, well. Bye, geometry. I like how we're just throwing the book away. Like, the school doesn't need the book. Okay, that's actually a book. I should car. write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with <laughs> imagery. Absolutely, positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. Doesn't mean we have to trash it. We could keep the poster. Come on, Chloe. Or are we only keeping the... Finally. What I actually came here for. Ah, it was a Shawshank kind of thing. That's the only reason we needed the poster. Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. <laughs> hey, yo, had to borrow your stash. Desperate times, you know. I promise I'll get you back next week. So much for that. I'm not going to be here next week. Thanks, Justin. Fuck every inch of this place. Whoa. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Yeah, I'll be quick. So quick. Won't take up the rest of the episode or anything. No, sorry. Oh man, the music's incoming. Now what? Oh, we're gonna mark up the bathroom. Here we go. Insubordinate. Oh man, we're just graffitiing the whole thing. Thank you, Square Enix. Welcome to episode two of Life is Strange. Well, not my episode two. The game's episode two. Hey, look, uh, that's, uh, we'll use that later. Was all this stuff there in the other one? I feel like it wasn't. It must have been cleaned or something. Didn't know we had that technology.
brave new world. That works. Victoria. Yeah, I did that, Victoria. That was me. How you like me now? Uh, the old parking lot where we reunite with Max later. Man, David, park the car in a spot. Not two spots. Nice monkey mask. Or Sasquatch. Bigfoot. Bigfoot. It's the mascot, the Bigfoots. Well, thanks, Skip. Later, Skip. See ya. What wanna be ya? still wearing the same shirt looks like david's here awesome rachel what up girl her oh my goodness so much texting oh my gosh Just let me read it all this is like all new oh made it to my house without seeing either of my parents sweet you were born to be a spy dumping out of trains and shit oh man we'd make such a great team no enemy viewfinder would ever be safe from you again. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're deep undercover as a passed out person. LOL, today was unforgettable. Some of it sucked. Yeah, you know what doesn't suck? What? You. You also don't suck. I know. We should probably sleep, God wills, tomorrow morning. Yeah, my fault. Worth it. Wells blows, that meaning hella sucked. You're hella weird. You are. Seriously, it's okay. Yesterday was worth it. Uh, why did Principal Wells text me? Why does he have my number? Members of the Blackwell community, please be advised that a fast-moving wildfire has recently been sighted in the vicinity of Culmination State Park. I have spoken with the Arcadia Bay Forest Watch, who do not believe any evacuations are necessary at this time, as Blackwell Campus is not within the affected area or the fire's current projected path. Please utilize caution while traveling to and from campus. Faculty and staff have been asked to weigh punctuality requirements for all sports and extracurricular activities this weekend. Blah, 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 blah. Urgent fire weather update. Arcadia Bay Forest Watch. Arcadia Bay, Oregon, 0202 AM PST, Saturday, May 8th, 2010. Active Class D wildfire not contained. Use caution. Check local media for road closures. Elliot. Elliot. Uh, I don't know where I was. Spanish test sucked. Lucky if I passed. Oh, okay, now that we read that already. Where is the blinking? Where is the blinking? Oh, here we go. Holy shit, did you get Wells' text about the fire? You okay? Yeah? You? I'm just in my room. Hey, after Tempest, you want to hang out? I did dance her. Woohoo! Yes, mother. Oh, boy. All right. Chloe, did you hear there's a fire? Please text me so I don't worry. Chloe, are you okay? Chloe, please. I'm fine. Oh, thank goodness. Come home by curfew. We have that meeting early tomorrow. Again, Chloe? Really? Chloe, you can't keep doing this to me. I am trying my best. You gotta text your mom back, Chloe. You gotta at least, like, try. Alright, what do we have on James and Rose? <clears throat> you can't trust normal people. Just ask Rachel. Her dad seems like the most normal guy on the planet, but he also turns out to be a cheating dickwad. Come to think of it, maybe that is normal. What sucks is that Rachel and her parents actually seemed to get along really well before. James is the new district attorney in Arcadia Bay, which is the reason Rachel's family moved up here from or Orange County. Despite his job, James doesn't act like an uptight law enforcer all the time, like some wannabe father figures I know. David. Rose. <coughs> Rose, Rachel's mom, also seemed pretty decent. She certainly really loves Rachel and James. Poor lady. Whatever happens with Rachel's family, it still seems like she really does love her parents. And maybe that's all that matters. I certainly rather have a cheating dickwad dad than a dead one. Did she use the wrong then? Yes, she did. Another letter to Max. That I'll never send. 
At least Journal Max won't abandon me the way real Max did. You really do miss Max a lot. Oops. Hold on. Ah! Did I do that one? I did that one. <laughs> did not do this one. Max! Uh, I don't even know. I don't. First off, was your money on Chloe blows this and goes back to having no friends again? I hope so. How did I fuck it up? One moment I'm having the day of my life. The next moment, I'm awkwardly confessing feelings for her, like some dork asking the head cheerleader to the prom, and she blew me off, because of course she did. But wait, that's not all, because as soon as Rachel leaves, I find a car. My dead dad's fucking car. This twisted, shattered, ugly reminder of what used to be my life. So I smash it up, obviously. And then I passed out, and had a dream where my dad told me to find Rachel back at the park, and Rachel set herself on fire. But enough about me, how was your day? Chloe, the twisted, shattered, and ugly. Max, when did you decide you were done with me? I mean, how did you do, how did you know it was time to move on? I ask because Rachel and I have decided we're done with this shit town. We've had it. It's bye bye bay. But instead of just ghosting it like a someone I know, we're gonna leave a trail of destruction in our wake. For Rachel, that means burning a fucking forest down. I know, crazy. But guess what? I'm crazy too. In not re unrelated news, I finally got my ass kicked out of Blackwell. But at least I managed to keep Rachel from getting booted from her play. I should probably be more upset about being a high school dropout, but I'm not. It's just another chapter of my fuckery in this story of my life. So yeah, burning bridges literally and academically. That's how you make an exit woman. Chloe, the exit wonder. Wounder. 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 Oh, is that how I walk? Thank you, game. I haven't been doing that for an entire chapter. Announcement. Probably about the forest fire. Love this shit. Never mind. Because of a generous grant from the Prescott Foundation, Blackwell will be offering several new courses next fall designed to nurture the artistic gifts of its students. Art 101, Visual Concepts. Art 102, Intro to Composition. Art 103, Intro to Ceramics. Art 201, Intermediate Photoshop. Art 202, Intro to Character Modeling and Animation. Art 301, Photography. Art 302, Independent Study by Invitation Only. Special thanks to Carolyn Prescott. Ha blah 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 blah. Ha blah blah blah. Ha, blah, blah, blah. Is there anything else we can look at? Oh, there's a pothole. Cool. I've never seen one of those. Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. Yeah, don't, uh, don't count your chickens. I guess this fire is no joke. Still can't believe Rachel started. Yeah, and then she yelled and a gust of wind blew like she has weird avatar powers. No, not the blue ones. What do we have here? My other vehicle is drama. It's not really a drama. I mean, a, it's not really a vehicle. Oh, hey, that one says... Oh, never mind. It says life is a stage. I thought it said life is strange. I was like, that's a little, uh... It's a little fourth wall-y. trying a bit too hard with those bumper stickers. Mwah, dib. Yeah, a little bit. All right, I guess we'll go talk to it's Mom. about damn time. David, please. Sorry, Mom. Mom is clearly fighting to hide her disappointment. Which, of course, just makes this worse. Yeah. Okay, David, what do you have to say for me? Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Uh-huh. Can we please do this later? Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? <sighs> I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. I was using it on you, you dupe. She's my mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. I try Maybe to listen. If you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might Maybe? actually learn a thing or two. Yeah. What? Like how to have no job? Ooh. Or how to be a soldier? That first part was worse. Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. Wow. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? No. Someone needed my help. Someone needed my help. Who? 
Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. I need your help. Me, your mother. We need to get our own house in order. That's a fair point. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Yeah, it's not going to happen till the other game. Chloe, I don't want to fight. I care about your mother very much. And you too. I'd like for us to start over. What do you say? Sure. Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. Wait, we got to take out the From cartridge. On, that is our last. I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. There we go. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Abusing. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. Oh, I'm getting what searched. The fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. It's a good thing if Justin not, stole my weed. You should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe, and I'm sorry, but David feels... Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start <laughs> fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. I don't know what Justin put in there instead of weed, but I don't have weed on me, so I should be good, right? I should be okay. Ah. Okay. I mean, I think. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? I don't have any, right? It's gone. Marker. Sigs. USB drive. Cat photo. I don't know what that is. Key with a panda on it. And a middle finger. You know what sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy? Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. I'm a smug person, David. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Yes, Mom, I can forgive you. You're my mother. You, but not him. <clears throat> sure. As long as you promise to never speak to this asshole again. Chloe. <laughs> Joyce, we can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. Yeah. And that means David. all of us. We need a new beginning. A Reset. new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. Well, what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. <laughs> no fucking way. Chloe, after everything that's happened, I'm at a loss. Great. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand. I mean, we know it works out. But Talk you know. to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. I feel like a woman. Ba -ba -da -da -da. No. I know I fucked up. You're trying, I get it. Wow, either one of those. You're trying. I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But, but this there. is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. Survey says... Burr. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. Together. Be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. I did know what that was like with my real dad. Oh, Chloe. Hey! 
There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Go to the junkyard. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. Will I, though? Is that Prescott in the green shirt? Hey, you in the green shirt. Is that you, Prescott? Is that you? Is that... No? No. Sorry. Sorry. Some guy named Alan. Or was it Steve? Let me know if you get that reference. Where am I? I'm hanging upside down. Or just looking upside down. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Ask the Fresh Prince. His whole life got flipped, turned upside down. I still have the baseball bat. That's sweet. Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Still got the junkyard. Special place with Rachel. Is this junkyard all I've got left? No, you have Rachel! And Max, eventually. Oh, the mannequin's head is still gone. Whoops. Are we gonna tell Rachel about the car that's here and how it's Dad's car? I feel like that's something we're eventually going to have to talk about. Oh, hey, her truck! And Bonnie. She's gonna start fixing it up. Ugh. Oh, nice rusty battery. Mm. This thing is a mess. But maybe I can fix it. Yeah! If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. I mean, there are other cars, so possibly. Yes, Mother. I need to blow off some steam, okay? Chloe, David's trying to do what he thinks is best. He's such a tool! I didn't like that he asked you to empty your pockets, and then you were completely innocent. Chloe, can't you just forget about David for a second? Think about me. Maybe I just need space, okay? Maybe I need my daughter back. Max, you ever hated someone's guts, but then later felt bad because you found out they're actually cooler than you thought? <laughs> yeah, me neither. David got it inside his douchebag skull that he needs to start cracking down on me, which means demanding I empty my pockets for him in the Blackwell parking lot. I went along with it. But just to make him look like an idiot in front of mom since I was holding. I wasn't holding. I guess it backfired because now David is moving into my old house. I say old house because he, if he is there, I'm sure as shit him not. Luckily, I've got still got to the junkyard, my home away from home. Chloe, bane of fascists. Yes, I know how to play the game. Why is this telling me how to do this like in episode two? All right, so we got the battery tray. Magical battery goes here. As soon as I magically find one. Alright, well we will start looking for one in the next episode. So I will see you guys on Monday. Have a good weekend. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz down below. See you on the other side of it. Peace.